Hi, my name is Brian Burnham, uh, here with Intellect in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, here today to talk about uh, product overview for Interact 3. Uh, it's a safety device, uh, it's here to protect your people, your equipment, and, and your investment. We're going to talk about all three of those things today. Uh, to start off, it's, it's a universal machine, so it'll rack uh, many makes and models, you know, GE, Siemens, Westinghouse, uh, legacy, you know, vintage equipment, uh, modern, you know, brand new breakers, uh, vacuum, and, and the applications range typically from 40 volt to 38 kV. Um, <clears throat> how we do that is we have a, a half inch uh, drive coupling off the end of our motor. Um, we have a set of springs to help keep uh, whatever tools we attach to the breakers, you know, connected. Um, we're going to give you position, uh, you know, through the controller. Where, where we have a strap on the motor here, and then we have you know, position one, two, and three. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that more later. We've got uh, you know, double, double wheel casters that are grading rated. We've got uh, foam filled tires, so we don't have to worry about a flat. Uh, the motor, again, I've got it elevated here, but it'll do two inches off the ground to about 84 inches high. So that'll cover most, most switch gears, 90 inches tall. So. Uh, some of the, the very you know, low to the ground racking screws all the way up to uh, a few of them I have to get on a ladder to connect, so <laughs> pretty tall. Um, we have some, some hand brakes on our wheels, so when the, when the unit is racking, again, the motor is going to move in a nice precise manner, and the, uh, the base of the unit is going to be still, right? So if you have any unlevel floors or anything like that, we, we don't have any issues there. So on this side of the unit, we have a, uh, you know, turn it on here. There's a set of batteries in it. Uh, it's kind of a, a UPS, like a ride-through type system. So if you're racking a breaker, you can always complete the process. Uh, there's also, we've added a set of, uh, of buttons here uh, to elevate, you know, raise and lower the mass, right? So we can set the vertical position. Um, this particular model has a, the wireless option added. So there's a little telephone case here. Got a wireless puck on the unit and We've uh, mounted our, our remote touch screen in a little Pelican case, wireless. Uh, if for some reason you did have a failure with this, uh, basically you take a, an Ethernet cable and, and go point to point here and you could, you know, you could still rack a breaker until you got, got anything you know, kind of resolved there. Um, there's a set of batteries in this as well that, that you've got to keep charged, as well as the base system. Also on the Interact 3, we've added uh, a modularity concept. So on the side of the unit here, you'll notice there's a set of pins. So we can pull these pins that hold the, the motor carriage captive, and we can easily uh, you know, remove this you know, and unplug the, the cables there to our modular terminal block and, uh, and change it out for a, a different, different adapter. One of them is a we call it a 90 degree motor carriage it's for rack and rotary style breakers. Basically, it takes this motor and orients it this way or this way, depending on how you put it on, and it'll get you into a, about a 30 inch, 25, 30 inch aisle space. Um, this unit, you know, obviously is going to take you, you know, more like a 30 to 40 inch aisle space. So, if you do have a real narrow application, uh, that's a, a motor carriage you may consider. Um, the other motor carriage is a is an actuator based carriage that will push and pull the breaker. So instead of having a rotary style motor, um, we, can, we can have a large actuator sitting in a carriage and connect it to some of the uh, levering or, or extraction style breakers that, that need to be pushed and pulled. Uh, so today we're going to rack a, a GE Magna Blast. This is a 5 kV breaker. Uh, and to do that, we need two breaker connection tools. We have a, a cell adapter that mimics the old racking motor. Right, a guy like this, uh, and then we have a, a tool to, to connect that to our to our rotary uh, motor carriage. So the first thing we want to do is basically put the cell adapter. In. So this is the we'll call the clip-in type that has a buckle here. There's also one that bolts in. Uh, so if you have this breaker, typically we ask you to take a photo of, of your motor right at the bottom of it, so we can see. Uh, see how it's oriented and then you know we have our connection tool so once we get this connected we want to pull down the handle rotate this so we can engage the tip of the cell adapter into the 
tracking mechanism and then pull the interlock handle down. Uh, from there, I want to leave the tool here and then I can slide the unit kind of into that. Once I've eye leveled this, once I've got everything connected and eye level and my motor in position too, uh, I want to take my remote panel and get distance outside the arc latch boundary. So once we get connected to the breaker um, and get our distance away from the breaker with the remote touch panel, we can use the, uh, the on-screen buttons here to, to operate the interact. Uh, the top button is racking unit control. The bottom is setup. Setup's going to be password protected. Um, you know, don't want just anyone having access to that and, and manipulating breaker profiles because it could cause, you know, damage to the equipment or or some unnecessary uh, issue. Um, but you know, normally we go racking unit control, rack breaker. This statement here just says that you know by, by continuing, you're qualified to do so. And then we have uh, some buttons here to select. So we, this first level of selection is to kind of narrow um, the available breaker profiles you have access to. This, uh, for this particular demonstration, we had one that said, okay, unit one, 4160 sub. You can have up to five buttons on each side of the screen, giving you 10 parent buttons. And then when you select that, you can have up to 10 child buttons or breaker profiles uh, you know, on the page. Now, once we access the GE Magnum Blast button, it gives us a confirmation screen. Okay, you've selected this type. You know, this is a, a GE AM uh, 250 MVA version. And then the accessories are engraved with these accessory numbers. So you always know which accessories uh, to grab, you know, connect to the breaker. Um, connect to the breaker. If for some reason you hadn't, you know, got your vertical height to, to connect to the racking screw, you'd use the raise and lower here and you could also adjust the uh, rotation of the motor uh, if you needed to do that to connect as well. What do you want to do? Well, you know, you either want to rack to disconnect or connect. Our breaker right now is in the disconnect or rack down position for the Magnavlast, so we're going to rack it up to connect. Check the motor position. Confirm the motor's in position two. We've done that uh, by by moving the, the motor uh, horizontal stripe on the motor into the numbered position on the motor carriage. Then there's a safety checklist. Um, are the brakes set? So that's our hand brakes on the on the wheels at the base of the unit. Are the breaker contacts open? Right. We don't want to rack a closed breaker. Be a major major safety concern. Uh, have all manual interlocks been operated? You know this could be Kirk keys. It could be uh, an actuated style interlock that's an additional accessory you need for any particular breaker but you know you want to make sure that that racking screw is free moving uh, before, before pressing go here. Have all site safety policies and then are you in a safe location? Um, again before you press that you want to you want to make sure you're outside the arc flash boundary and if you don't press one of these buttons right you don't you don't get to continue on. Now from here you have the Rack to connect, so that's the go button. You have the abort. You've got uh, an arrow that's going to track across the screen from disconnect to connect, and you've got access to our graphing feature. So let's just rack the breaker. It goes through the engage and set. So if we're racking it, it's going to do a counterclockwise before it goes in.
Now here at the end, we've uh, we've got the rack and complete screen, so everything went well, and we can go next. There is a, an option here to do a quarter turn reverse to relieve tension in the racking screw. We can do that. It's complete, and then we're done. So we've seen the MagnaBlast uh, be racked. Um, got it to the connect position here and wanted to really reiterate the three points we talked about in the beginning of the, the presentation here in the product overview and one is that we are we're definitely safety minded here safety focused in, in getting people outside of the arc flash boundary and eliminating the, the risk of, uh, of personnel injury when we're racking breakers uh, we saw that by you know taking the remote touch panel and moving outside of the boundary you know earlier the second part was you know uh, have a kind of best in class, you know, protection for the equipment. Uh, and we're doing that a couple of different ways. You know, we're monitoring the turn count. You saw the feedback on the on the touch panel as we rack from connect to disconnect and back. Um, so we're looking at turn count. We're also looking at torque. Uh, we're, we're using uh, two or three different torque settings depending on the breaker um, to allow a lower set point on approach and a higher set point, you know, get the breaker onto the stabs. Uh, trying to be as sensitive as possible so we don't, you know, allow breaker damage. Um, and, and then at the end, you know, when we slow down, you saw, um, you know, we, we slow down, we, we look at a different torque parameter, we also look at a turn count. So, so our torque and our turns, right, when we rack the breaker in and hit a hard stop at the at full connect, like on this breaker when we're racking it up, um, those things have to, have to happen at the same time. So it's really torque and turns, um, you know, at that particular moment. And the third is, is really protecting the investment. Um, you know, this is the Interact 3. You know, we've had an Interact 1, we've had an Interact 2, these generations. And, and any of those uh, particular models can be upgraded to this latest controller, uh, the modular motor carriage, uh, the buttons on the side that, that elevate the mass. You know, we're, you send your unit back to us, we can upgrade the, basically the entire control system and any of the hardware to match. Uh, the latest and greatest system that we're, we're shipping today. So if you have interest in any of that, you know, please reach out to us, um, you know, info and intellect or our website. Be happy to uh, have to talk to you about that and, and make sure your interacts running for, for many years to come.